this year has, uh, is going to be a phenomenal year, but it starts off for us a little sad. I, I, we're going to talk about this a little later on, but one of the greatest gospel icons of all time, Dr. Andre Crouch, has gone home to be with the Lord. And, 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 and it's, 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 it's twofold. It's sad, but we can rejoice because we know, we know, we know that God has received his champion home. And throughout the show, we're going to be giving tributes to this anointed man of God. Now, I'm challenging those of you who are watching today that has been going through difficult times to get your butt guard testimony in right now because I want to read some of them online and, and, and read some of them on the air, excuse me, and I want to really, really be a blessing to you tonight. I'm going to give you tonight the, your first opportunity to sow seed, your first fruit seed, this this, this year, tonight, will be the first opportunity that you would get to partner with me as we walk together in 2015. And it is going to be a year of financial blessings. The God that I serve is going to turn things around for you. You are about to have a huge turnaround, so get ready for it. 855-730-WORD, 855-730-WORD. Call right now. The prayer warriors, the prayer counselors are waiting for you. It's the season of consecration. Get your oil on tonight, your faithful seed of $25, and I'll ship it to you so we can have a point of contact with one another. Now it's time for us to have a little rejoicing and worship, and then I'm going to come back and minister to you. Put your hands together right here, Detroit, Michigan, Tim Slaughter is ministering unto us tonight, chasing Tim. Come on, put those hands together. Come on, clap. Come on, clap those hands. In this year, we're chasing after God. Anybody chasing after God? Anybody want more from God this year? Hallelujah. Chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, cause I need you more and more. Simple song. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, cause I need you more and more. If that's you, come on, say, see, I'm chasing after you.
I'm chasing after you. And I sense that as I chase after you, dear God, you're going to release in my life tools and concepts that's going to give me victory. One of the ways to have victory in Jesus is by having a life that is dedicated to him in prayer, in worship, and in consecration. But God moments happens to individuals who are connected to the Lord in prayer, in worship, and in devotion. Uh, Andre Crouch was a powerful, powerful vessel for the body of Christ. Powerful, powerful vessel for the body of Christ. He, he was so powerful. I remember uh, many years ago, I used to go to Bethel Gospel Tabernacle in New York City. My pastor and spiritual father, Bishop Roderick R. Caesar Jr. Just about everything I know about the gospel, I learned it from that man. And he and Andre Crouch was very, very close back in the days when they had Andre Crouch and the disciples. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. It won't be long until Jesus, until we'll be leaving here. If you live right, heaven belongs to you. Uh, the, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. Let the church say amen. I mean, all of that. All of that. And we had the opportunity, the, 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 the most blessed opportunity to interview him on what has become the last interview of his life right here at Rejoice. I come to see you. I, I, I come to tell you tonight that one of the things that he said on that night is that he didn't know how long he was going to be here. But he wanted uh, 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 to use the rest of the time here that he had on earth to transfer, to deposit this gift and this anointing in the lives of young people. And the music industry has gone in all different directions, but we have an icon. And I want you to remember this great man of God along with me. I want us to remember Andre Crouch. Watch this for a moment. And I'll be back to minister to you. You know, as you let the spirit flow through you, that's all I want. It's to be used of God. My God. I know I won't be here forever, but I will be here as long as he allows me to be here. And I just thank God for all the young ones that are coming on. And like I was saying before, I'm going to try to talk to as many as I can. This brother here is. He laid his hands on you again. Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> He's on fire. He's on fire. Yes, keep he that, is. Keep that fire. And when you keep that fire. When I think about worship, when I think about worship, and I'm not saying it because Pastor Murphy's on the couch. When I think about worship, I always think about him. God has, I don't know what it is, but he has given you a sound that is significant. And it's a, it's a, it's not a war cry, but it's a rally cry. It's something that gathers. Well, what, what is happening in, in the music industry today? Well, in some places it's good. Mm -hmm. And some places it's bad. Mm -hmm. And I think if individually, if we let the Lord speak to us and we don't be a copy of anyone else we can copy each other as far as their love for god yes their uh, earnest and spiritual opinion mm -hmm. that they've received from the word mm -hmm. and the life that they live mm -hmm. because god rewards you when you keep him on your mind uh, uh, the song always remember jesus Always remember, remember who Jesus, Jesus, always, always keep 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Always remember Jesus. I feel his anointing in the room. Jesus. Always keep him on your mind. Always keep him on your Let's give the Lord a praise right now. That's a word, that's a word in song to everyone that is going through crisis and is about to experience a but God moment in your life. Uh, Dr. Crouch said on that night, he says, always allow the Lord to speak to you. The Lord rewards those that are authentic. He said, you don't want to go around copying being who you're not. Everybody's trying to be the next great person when you need to be the first great you. I thought that was powerful. Always remember that what is going on in your life is as a result of what the Lord has spoken. And God, who is rich in mercies, has preordained things for your life. And it's through your worship, it's through your praise, it's through your dedication. Oh, somebody, let's bless the Lord in this place. It's through your worship and your dedication. If you, if you want a life that is rewarded of God, if you want a life that is rewarded of God, worship him, honor him, and be true. Be real. No fake stuff. I thought that this, 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 this is a great man of God. And so that's why I said it's, it's two feelings that we have today. We know that he's gone home to be in glory. And the Bible says rejoice with those that rejoice and mourn with those that mourn. And I guess we'll have a melancholy type of moment where there'll be seasons of rejoicing and seasons of mourning. But tonight we're just remembering this powerful man of God. You put your hands together. I want you to, I want you to uh, 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 go to the phones on tonight and stand with us in agreement. 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. In a few minutes, I'm going to tell you what I would like for you to do to make it possible for us to continue to carry this message of the kingdom around the world. But some mother is watching, some father's watching, someone is in prison watching, someone is in trouble watching, and they sort of kind of forgot that God is around you. I just want us to worship one more time. Always remember Jesus. Always keep him on your mind. Always keep him on your mind. I remember that he talked a little bit about his mother uh, on that night. He talked about the, uh, the transition of sickness and, and, and when you go through difficult times. Watch this. I believe it's going to bless you. When things look bad, think about Jesus. And he'll bring a peace. You know the, the little song that I wrote? Uh, amen. Let the church say amen. Um, my Incredible. I love my mother, so she got sick, and I was just coming back from Sweden. She was fine. Then I got a call about three hours later after I left. Hallelujah. Wow. And my father said, your mother's gone. Mm. I said, what? And so then, you know, when you've been serving God all your life, sometimes we think we have a handle to God. We can manipulate. God, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Heal my mother. So he does like that. That wasn't his will. Wow. And then a year later, my father died. Mm -hmm. Wow. With cancer. Then my elder brother, that had been ministering with Jack Hafer. Yes. He came back to the church. And in three months, he got cancer. My God. And he died. Wow. Wow. And when the minister was officiating uh, uh, the funeral, he said, let the church say amen. Mm -hmm. Now, we've heard that all of our lives. Yes. Yeah. But I felt like the Andre Crouch that eats regular food and can get angry, can laugh. I was in my spirit, but I didn't say anything against God. Mm -hmm. You know, I just like, and then when I was drawing my body, I mean my brother's body, my spirit was saying, what's up? Mm. 
we've been serving you. And, and we prayed for my brother. Wow. And he weighed 260 pounds, something like that. And he went down to about 80 pounds my in God. two wow. months. My God. Wow. Wow. And I couldn't lift my hands when the minister said, just lift your hands and praise me. And my cousin was sitting next to me. I said, hey, raise my hand for me. Because mm. I can't do it. I don't have the strength. My God. Wow. And I knew God was doing something. But the Andre Crouch mm. said, God, I've been to 70 countries for you. And then you didn't answer that prayer. But I didn't say that. Because, you know, you what you speak. You know, can have a lot of power. So I just didn't say anything. And so I told my cousin, I said, raise my hand for me. My God. And I just said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You have spoken. So I say, amen. My God. And then he added another part to it. This was years later. It says, you can't change it, rearrange it, because God said it, so believe it. My God. So that's when you just lay yourself in his hands. And then, because he's working something else out. And I praise God today because I know him in a deeper way when I thought, that if I went through something like that, I wouldn't be able to get up in the morning. But I'm here. Yes. Hallelujah. For God has spoken. And when you just tell the Lord, yes, some of you that have big visions, but you're not obedient to what God says. And when he once said yes out of you, in spite of anything, my God, in spite of how it hurts, just say, amen. 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 You amen. have spoken. Amen. So I say, amen. 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 I don't know what you're doing, God. I don't know what where you're taking me, but I say, amen. But I'm in pain, and I hurt. Yes. And I'm seeing you heal other people. Amen. I've written songs for you. Yes. And then I ask you to do this. That's what my mind was trying to say. But I just gave it up and said, it's your will. God has spoken. So Andre, say amen. Hallelujah. Sing it, Murphy. Murphy. Y'all know it all over the world. Come on, say, let the church say amen. Say amen. You may not understand it. Let the church say amen. takes you higher and higher and higher. God has spoken. Because he's spoken. God spoken. And he said, I told you. God has spoken. And the joy of the Lord God has spoken. is my strength. Amen. God has spoken. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord Amen. in spite God has spoken. of everything. You might be going through something, but the joy of the Lord, the of the Lord. in spite of everything, Amen. the joy of the Lord is yours. Strength. Hallelujah. Mm. Just tell him, Amen. Woo. Amen. Yes, I don't understand it, but I say, Amen. God, He has spoken. Andre just saying. Somebody put those hands together right now. Yeah. You might be crying, but say, Amen. Amen. 